Why do dogs raise their hackles? A black cat with raised hackles is a staple of Halloween decorations, but many people do not know that dogs have the ability to raise their hackles too. The action of raising hackles is known as piloerection, literally meaning, raising of hairs. Cats are known to raise their hackles, but so do porcupines with their thick hairs when they're frightened by predators. In some sort of way, the action is similar to when we get goosebumps, and as the popular expression goes, our hairs stand on end. So let's discover some interesting facts about hackles and why dogs raise their hackles. A lesson in anatomy. Dogs are equipped with hair follicles that are attached to special muscles called the erector pili, which are confined to the dog's neck, back and tail. When the dog is in a normal, relaxed state, the hair follicles stay at a 30 to 60 degree angle compared to the skin. Let the muscles contract though, and those hair shafts will literally stand up, explains Karen L. Campbell, a board-certified veterinarian specializing in internal medicine and dermatology. When dogs have these hair standing up, they are described as raising their hackles, as those popular Halloween silhouettes of black cats. This is a sympathetic nervous system response. Why do our pets raise their hackles? Dogs raise their hackles in a variety of circumstances. Recognizing these circumstances can help you better understand your dog. In most cases, hackles in dogs are raised in emotionally charged situations. Let's take a look at some circumstances that can cause raised hackles in dogs. Getting worked up. The erector pili muscles are innervated by the sympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system. In our canine companions, contraction of these muscles is elicited by the release of epinephrine as it occurs when the animal feels afraid or excited, further adds Dr. Campbell. The contraction is involuntary, and thus, not under the dog's conscious control as it's part of the dog's fight or flight reaction. It can also be seen in animals that are aroused, anxious, uncertain or surprised by the sudden appearance of an unexpected stimulus. An overstimulating play session may also cause raised hackles in dogs while playing. There are chances that based on the area of raised hairs, one may deduce information pertaining the dog's emotional state. Raised hackles by the shoulder area may denote fear. Hackles raised by the tail area may suggest confidence, while in both shoulder and base of tail, may suggest an ambivalent emotional state and conflict. Source Karen London, 2012. Most likely, just as in the cat and in the porcupine, the action of raising those hackles has some adaptive function meant to make the dog appear larger than he really is. But wait there's more, Alexandra Horowitz in her book, Inside of a Dog, What Dogs See, Smell and Know, explains that those hairs may also release the odor of skin glands located at the base of the hairs. Not necessarily aggression. It's not correct to make unfounded claims that dogs who raise their hackles are aggressive. First of all, it's wrong to label dogs as aggressive from the get-go, as dogs aren't always in a constant state of aggression. It's more correct to say that dogs may act aggressively in certain scenarios versus dogs are aggressive. Also, one must identify the stimulus that triggered the hackles to rise in the first place and take note of the accompanying body language before drawing conclusions. If you are uncertain as to why your dog may raise his hackles, consult with a board-certified veterinary behaviorist. Did you know? Rhodesian Ridgebacks have a line of hair running on their backs in the opposite direction from the rest of the coat. Many people confuse this characteristic as the dog having raised hackles. Other dogs may misinterpret these dogs and react to them in uncharacteristic ways, since this ridge gives these dogs a distinctive look which may be off-putting to other dogs. Explains Amy Shojai in the book, Petticut Solving Behavior Problems in Multipet Households. Getting Warmed Up. In us humans, cold triggers goosebumps, causing the characteristic bumps in the rising of the hair shafts. Charles Darwin in the book, The Expression of the Emotions in Man and Animals, classified the appearance of goosebumps as a vestigial reflex in humans, considering that it has lost its original function since we're no longer covered in hairs. In dogs, if it's very, very cold, the contraction of the erector pili muscles is meant to trap air and create a layer of insulation. When the hairs stand up, an insulating layer of air gets trapped between hair shafts, so the cold air cannot get so close to the skin. It works like a down jacket, explains Dr. Nicholas Dodman. Did you know? You're not imagining things when you notice more hair loss in your dog during stressful situations such as when he's visiting the vet's office. What happens is that hairs that are in the telogen phase, the resting phase, are more likely to fall out when the erector pili muscles contract, 
as it happens in stressful situations such as being at the vet, explains board-certified veterinary dermatologist Karen L. Campbell. Please like us and subscribe for more fascinating dog discoveries.